Okay, the discount vending store presents uh, the inner workings of the soda compartment on the FEH B12. Um, when we open up the soda door on the FEH B12, you'll see uh, this machine is set up to dispense uh, two rows of 12 ounce cans and then four rows of cans or bottles. Uh, this particular machine uh, on the bottle uh, dispensing the, uh, the two here are a little smaller, so they'll dispense the 16 ounce bottles or 12 ounce cans. The two over here are a little larger. They're set up to do, do the 20 ounce bottles or, or cans, or they'll even do the 16 ounce bottles. Um, we're gonna take the motor cover off to the four bottle assemblies real quick. This is held on by eight screws. There's four on top and four on the bottom. I took them off ahead of time to make this go a little quicker. On So let's start with the 12 ounce side. The 12 ounce drinks, you basically load them um, to the side uh, and I like keeping them in one direction so all the openings to the right or to the left like that. But for selection B1, you would want to load all your sodas in here until it's completely full and then you'll load the next tray down for B1. And the reason for that is there's a trap door in the back of this. You wanna make sure that trap door with all these sodas loaded, that trap door stay closed. So when you, when you load them in here, they're not gonna cause a jam. Same thing for B2. You load this row first, all the way full, and then you'll drop down and load this one uh, to keep that trap door back there closed so it dispenses properly. The motor assembly for B1 and B2, I have two assemblies right here. Um, they basically, they, they, they go in like this, and uh, there's two screws on either side that hold them in there. So they'll be sitting like this in the machine. Um, but what I want to show you here is a common thing we get called on is this mechanism here. Let me get it grabbed so you can see. This one here is set up, and sometimes they come from the factory just like this, with the shims already installed. So if you see two gold screws for a total of four on here, that means these brackets are installed. So that's set up to a, dispense a eight to 10 ounce uh, can, like your energy drinks, Red Bulls and such. Um, this, this motor assembly over here, you just see the empty holes the four empty holes. So the brackets aren't on there. So this one here is set up to dispense a 12 ounce soda can. So we wanted to make sure you got to see that real good. Then on the four, the four selections for bottles, you open these up here and I'll just show you on a 16 ounce bottle. Um, the, these, uh, mechanisms in here, they have a trap door back here. So you'll want to load uh, the back of the machine first with your product. And then you close the trap door and you'll load the front of the machine with product. And I usually set it in like this and set it down. And then I try to shimmy it up and you want to keep the, the soda can or soda bottle all the way to the front of the uh, dispenser to, and the reason for that being on here, there's what we call the sold out sensors. So you can see when I have this bottle in here, this sold out sensor is tilted back. So it, the machine now knows that there's product in there because you can't see it from the outside. Over here, there's no soda in here. So this sold out sensor is not engaged yet. So it, you know, if someone selects B3, uh, the machine's going to tell them the item's sold out, make another selection. So they'll come over to B4, there's product in there, so that will dispense B4. Uh, the other thing I want to show you real quick is on this, the dispense mechanism on this side, it's actually an, a tray. So your soda, the motor is going to connect here, your soda sits in here, and the soda back back behind that uh, trapdoor, they sit up on top. So when you dispense, 
it's going to turn, it'll dispense the one up here, and then the soda is going to be sitting up on top, and the soda back here is going to drop down into the tray. So the next time you dispense, it's going to dispense from the back, and it just keeps alternating back and forth. So that's how that dispense mechanism works on those. And that's, I think that is all to this, uh, this soda machine.